few months ago I got this super nice ink wash paintbrush set and I'm really excited to try them. I haven't yet because I wanted to share my thoughts with you and share the excitement of trying something new, like a new toy. So if I bought this on Amazon, it was not very expensive. It was like 25 to $30, I think, Canadian. And if ever you're interested in checking it out, you have to search for Chinese calligraphy brush set or Sumi brush set. These brushes are really unique. They're very fluffy and like soft and they absorb and retain a lot of water because we're working with like ink and they're bamboo. I really like the, the way, the randomness of the washes on paper. I'm not trying to control, uh, to control it at all. I'm going to be using watercolor paper, of course, and I'm going to do expressive florals. You've probably, you might have seen me do that before. I just want to make more of them because they feel very calming to create, but also calming to look at. All the different shades of gray, it's very soft and gentle. The only thing about ink washes that is trick here for my personality is that I have to wait to get the nice transparencies I have to wait for it to dry to have multiple layers and I don't like to wait I like to do things continuously and have them done in one go so I think what I'm gonna do is set up a bunch of papers on my table and work like in a chain I do one layer on each sheet of paper and by the time I go around to the, the first one, hopefully it's dry enough. Let's see how that works. From past experience, I know that I create a lot of puddles of ink the way I do it in, on my paper and it takes a long while to dry, like towards the end. So once I'm done with a painting, if I need to move it, I want to have like a firm surface to put it on and to carry it. So I'm gonna take those cardboard backings, lay them all out on my table so that I can put them to dry somewhere and keep working if need be because in the past carrying them over like just the paper accidents happen spillage ruin painting we don't want that and although this case is so beautiful i'm gonna take the brushes out and put them like in a jar so that i can not damage this too much or dirty it too much and it takes a lot of space on the table. There you go.
few hours later, I'm all done with painting. Let's talk about it. First of all, I like the paintbrush set. It works really well. There's a bunch of sizes. The paint brushes shed a little bit, but I don't mind it. I like that they have a nice point so I can get a really fine line, which is super cool. And I didn't have any paint brushes that would do that. So I'm happy about that. What I'm not as happy about is the result of my painting. Mm. I did 11 painting and I kind of rushed it. I feel like that's a big flaw of mine. I get super excited. Today I wanted to test this out and I was like, I'm gonna do a million of them. It's gonna be so much fun. But I think I should have done maybe three or four, three maybe, probably three. And instead of telling myself I'm gonna do this a whole bunch in one session, it's gonna be great to do three in maybe two sessions and waiting longer to like put in more details, but especially to let the first layer and second layer and third layer dry in between. Because what I love about ink is the transparencies, seeing layers on top of layers and those transparencies and starting very light, like barely a hint of gray and then building up the dark values on top of it. I got impatient and I got super dark, super fast, and it created a bunch of messy messes. So on 11 paintings, there's maybe two and a half that I like. I guess three that I like, but the third one is a little bit too dark. I'll show you them, the ones that I like in a minute. Let's focus on the messy ones. They're all too dark. I was creating florals from imagination, which is a hard thing to do. I didn't want to follow like a reference photo just didn't feel like it i wanted it to be more spontaneous and kind of messy but not that messy those ones i really dislike super dark super messy composition value it's a messy mess messy mess messy mess messy mess i feel like these two had potential if i had taken more time to build up the gray and having those very light values contrasted with the dark ones but now it came out a little bit well a lot too dark but these two paintings i feel are the most successful one of them is a bit darker but because the composition is minimal i really like it And the first one that I did, the chive flower from my garden, I really like. I added a little bit of detail with a pencil at the end. So those two, I really like them. Some days things come together, some days it doesn't. And this is not a rare occurrence, if ever you're wondering for me. There's a lot of failure, like the ratio on a good day, if I do multiple paintings and I'm kind of exploring, on a really good day, I would say it would be half crap, half good. <laughs> on a bad day, nothing is to my liking and those happen regularly where I paint like a whole bunch of things and nothing. Oh, you know what? Let me show you something that I did. I tried to do a full-on abstract with no reference or no inspiration starting point that I wanted to put on YouTube for a video but I ended up not putting it because it just I really hated it I hated the painting I'm gonna show you just to show you there it is I tried my best I had absolutely no starting point of inspiration just wanted something abstract I hated it if it happens to you, don't feel bad. It happens to everyone. And I'm talking about explorations. If I were trying to render something from a, a reference photo and really like taking my time to observe the lines, the values, the colors, I could pretty much 80% of the time get something good enough because I'm essentially not copying, but like I have a full on reference. So that's 
easier it's just longer it's a long process but it's easier to get a better result but when it's exploration trying something new from imagination the ratio is not super high of success but it's so much fun to explore and try things that i don't mind like honestly sometimes i i do mind because it's discouraging but i'm not gonna stop doing it even if there's a higher percentage of wasted paper <laughs> not time because it's not wasted time it's maybe wasted art supplies but it's okay by the way if you like the video and you're still here thank you so much hit the bell for notification it really helps my channel and what i would like to do with those florals in the next few weeks is to transform one into a t-shirt for myself I might put it on my Etsy shop if it turns out nice, but that's not the point. The point is that I want to turn one of my painting into a t-shirt. I think it would be fun. I'm gonna make a video about it. The whole process of like transforming a painting into a design and designing a t-shirt and also receiving the t-shirt, trying it on. I wanna vlog the whole process. So I'm gonna get a video together from painting to wearing the t-shirt i might even do a hoodie because i have another painting one of my favorite paintings that i've ever done i think i'd like to have it as a hoodie anyways enough rambling i'll see you in just a few days for another one thank you so much for watching